Hello, you beautiful divine soul. Welcome to step number four in our five steps to high frequency abundance. Today, we are talking about how it is safe to receive now, not some distant time in the future. So, so often, um, those are of us who are drawn to manifesting and visualization or know that we are called to a purpose, a lot of times we are pushing away the outcomes of that to some magical distant future. And while I absolutely love getting into that space of visualization, I think it's incredibly important. I think there are also times where our subconscious and our energy field is actually blocking us from bringing that into our lived state. So a lot of times what's going on for people is a block around safety in your energy field, in your subconscious and your mental emotional field, even if it's not in your conscious awareness. So a lot of times for people, this can show up as I'm not enough, I'm too much. A lot of times those are very um, intertwined, but deeper when you get into that is safety. And even if you are physically safe, you live a very, you know, secure life, a lot of times we have these blocks going on um, from our childhood, from past lives, and from our ancestral lineage handed down to us. And when we are in this subconscious state, of not feeling safe to receive, a lot of times it's because we are here and we want to get here, whether that is greater peace, greater love, greater joy, um, financial abundance, a house, a vacation, whatever this thing is that we're working on getting to, there can be this dissonance between if I become a vibrational match to that and I bring it into my life, then who do I have to become to be that? What has to change? And so often change and upheaval can really throw us off balance because we don't know. It's this very uncertain, um, you know, uncertainty to be living in and that's really hard for the human experience. So a lot of times there's also a relational um, discrepancy when we think about becoming that person and, and becoming the person who is a match to that vibrational state, there can be a lot of relationship dynamics at play of will this certain person or group of people still accept me? And that can be a really big core wound when we're looking at receiving. So um, after this five day, five step challenge, for those of you who want to keep working deeper on this, I will of course have an offering so you can keep going with it. But for right now, for your soul work around safety and feeling safe to receive and to bring that into your experience now, I invite you to do some soul work around what, you know, if it's in your awareness, if you have an idea of any safety issues blocking you, any concern around will people still accept me, any relational dynamics that could be a concern. Um, and then that can be very heavy work. <laughs> um, whether it's known to you or not, even if it's not known to you, um, balancing that with going into that feeling state, just like we've done in some of our previous steps, where you get into that visualization and what is that feeling state you wanna create and how can you start to create that within yourself? What's the smallest piece of bringing that feeling to you? This is also really great with some inner child work and maybe just 
thinking about, um, when I think about my younger self, what age pops up or does any particular experience pop up? And is there some dialogue that's needed to talk to that, that inner child in order to feel safe? And how can you bring that safety into you, whether it's sitting and visualizing a little bubble around yourself or doing some affirmation work and how can you create that feeling state for yourself? So I hope that these steps are very useful to you as you bring that abundance, that holistic abundance to yourself. And remember, if you want to participate in our giveaway, there are, um, there's a place below where you can sign up for that. And I am wishing you all the best in your safe receiving abundance now.